Good day everyone, Sir Garrett here. I will help you to learn and explore the majestic and interesting world of science. On this video lecture, we are going to discuss the concept of balance and unbalanced forces. Further, we will understand on how are we going to compute the value of net force present in a particular situation. But before we start, let us recall the three laws of motion formulated by Sir Isaac Newton. Again, what are the three laws of motion formulated by Sir Isaac Very good. Those are the law of inertia, law of acceleration, and law of action reaction. But what are the concepts behind those three laws formulated by the said physicists? Law of Inertia An object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and direction unless acted upon by an external force. Nangangahulugan lamang nito na hanggat walang gagambala o gagalaw sa iyong kinikilos o ginagawa, mananatili ka sa iyong posisyon o sa iyong paggalaw nang hindi nagbabago ito nang naaayon sa iyong pagkilos. Law of Acceleration The acceleration of an object as produced by a net force is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force. Further, acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass of the object. The Law of Acceleration, ito ay nagpapakita ng relationship ng tatlo quantities. Ito ay ang mass, force, at acceleration. The law of acceleration, ipinapakita nito na ang relationship ng force at mass ay directly proportional. Kung saan, kapag mabigat ang isang object, kailangan nating mag-exert ng greater amount of force para mapagalaw ito. Samantalang ang acceleration naman ay inversely proportional to the mass of the object. Alam naman natin na kapag ang isang object ay sobrang bigat, mabagal ang pagalaw nito. At kapag ito ay may magaan na bigat, Mabilis ang paggalaw nito sa isang sitwasyon. Law of Action Reaction For every action, there is always an equal and opposite reaction. Ngunit paano nga ba natin masasabi na ang isang situation ay nagpapakita ng tinatawag nating balance or unbalanced force? Alamin muna natin kung ano ang konsepto ng tinatawag nating balance force. Balance force are forces that are equal in magnitude and in opposite direction so there will be no motion in an object. Meaning, masasabi natin ang isang situation ay nagpapakita ng balance force kung ito ay nagtataglay ng equal amount of forces na nagmumula sa opposite direction. At dahil nabanggit natin na ito ay nagtataglay ng equal amount of forces na nagmumula sa opposite direction, Ito ang nagiging dahilan kung bakit hindi gagalaw ang object o hindi mababago ang posisyon nito sa isang situation. Pagbigay tayo ng isang halimbawa o ng ilang pang halimbawa na nagpapakita ng application of balance forces. Let us study this illustration. It was observed that a 90 kg object is being pulled to opposite directions. We have observed that a 90 newtons of force is being applied to pull the said object to the right and on the other side, the same amount of force is being exerted pulling to the left direction. Sa ating unang situation, makikita natin ang amount of forces exerted from different directions ay magkatulad or equal. Tulad ng nabanggit natin sa konsepto ng balance force, kapag ang values ng forces na nagmumula sa magkabilang direksyon ay equal, ito ang nagiging dahilan kung bakit hindi mababago ang posisyon ng isang object. Let us study situation 2. Suppose two boys are pushing the 190 kg heavy crate with 25 newtons of force to the right and another guy is pushing the said crate to the left with 50 newtons of force to the left. What will be the net force that will act on the object? Will the object move? Makikita natin na sa left 
part ng ating diagram ay may dalawang amount of forces exerted papuntang kanan. Ito ay may parehong tag 25 newtons of force. Simple lang ang ating gagawin. Atin lamang pagsasamahin ang dalawang nasabing amount of forces para makuha ang tinatawag nating net force. Net force is the vector sum of forces acting on a particular body. So, ibig sabihin, atin lamang pagsasamahin o iaad ang dalawang forces na nagmumula sa magkatulad na direksyon. Dahil sa kaliwang bahagi ng ating object ay mayroong dalawang forces na papunta sa iisang direksyon, pagsasamahin lamang natin ito para makuha ang net force. Net force going to the right is equal to 25 newtons plus 25 newtons. Kapag pinagsama natin ito, tayo ay makakakuha ng net force na 50 newtons. Nangangahulugan na may net force na 50 newtons ang dalawang batang lalaki na itinutulak ang 190 kilograms crate papuntang kanan. Samantalang ang batang lalaki na tinutulak ang crate ay mayroon ding net force na 15 newtons. Mapapansin natin sa situation na pareho lamang or equal ang amount of forces na nagmumula sa magkaibang direksyon. Ano sa tingin nyo ang magkaganap sa posisyon ng box or ng crate na itinutulak sa magkaibang direksyon? Tama! Hindi mababago ang posisyon nito dahil pareho lamang ang amount of forces na nagmumula sa magkaibang direksyon. Konsepto ng balance force, maaari itong magpakita ng dalawang uri ng equilibrium. Ito ay ang static equilibrium o dynamic equilibrium. Paano nga ba natin nasasabi kung ang isang sitwasyon ay nagpapakita ng static or dynamic equilibrium? Naganap ang static equilibrium kung ang isang object ay nananatiling nakatigil or at rest. Halimbawa, kung isang bata o ang isang mag-aaral ay mananatiling nakaupo sa maghapon nang hindi siya tumatayo o hindi umaalis sa kanyang posisyon, ito ay nagpapakita ng tinatawag nating static equilibrium. Nagaganap naman ang dynamic equilibrium kapag ang isang bagay ay hindi nababago ang kanyang paggalaw sa isang particular na sitwasyon. Halimbawa, kung ang isang sasakyan ay tumatakbo sa bilis na 196 km per hour hanggang sa ito ay makarating sa kanyang patutunguhan nang hindi nababago ang kanyang bilis, ito ay nagpapakita lamang ng tinatawag nating dynamic equilibrium. Unbalanced force. A force where two forces acting in opposite directions on a body. This shows not equal in magnitude and in size. Sa konsepto ng unbalanced force, ito ay nagpapakita ng magkaibang values of forces exerted from opposite direction or the same direction. Ito ang nagiging dahilan kung bakit mababago ang posisyon o gagalaw ang isang object depende sa nagaganap na sitwasyon. Let us observe the illustration. On this illustration, it shows that two animals were pulling the rope into different directions. Dog A exerts 10 newtons of force to pull the rope going to the left. Well, dog B exerts 12 newtons of force to pull the rope going to the right. We have observed that on the situation, there are an equal amount of forces exerted from opposite direction. Obviously, it shows an unbalanced force. But then, by using mathematical computation, we can clearly state or say if a situation possess an unbalanced forces. How are we going to do that? Dahil batay sa situation, ito ay nagpapakita ng magkaibang amount of forces na nagmumula sa magkaibang direksyon. Isusubtract natin yung values ng dalawang forces na present sa problem. Dahil meron tayong 12 newtons pulling to the right at 10 newtons pulling to the left, we need to subtract it 
para makuha ang value ng net force. Net force is equal to 12 newtons minus 10 newtons. Therefore, net force is equal to 2 newtons going to the right. Since ang value ng ating net force ay greater than 0, ito ay nagpapakita lamang na maaaring magkaroon ng pagbabago sa paggalaw ng parehong animals sa ating situation. Let us study the second situation showing an unbalanced force. Girl is pushing the piano going to the right while exerting 25 newtons of force while boy is pulling the piano to the right by exerting 20 newtons of force. Basi sa ating illustration, ang forces na ine-exert ng dalawang bata ay papunta sa iisang direction. Dahil parehong direction ang pupuntahan ng force, ating pagsasamahin ito o iaad ang forces na present sa situation. Therefore, net force is equal to 25 newtons plus 20 newtons is equal to 45 newtons going to the right. Ibig sabihin, magkakaroon ng pagbabago sa posisyon ng piano dahil sa forces na inexert ng dalawang bata at ito ay maoobserbahan na papunta sa iisang direksyon kung saan ito ay pupunta sa gawing kanan. Now, let us compare the differences of balance and unbalanced forces. On this part, we are going to compare the differences of balance and unbalanced force. So, gagamit tayo ng table para makita ang pagkakaiba ng balance sa unbalanced force. Tingnan natin ang iba't ibang factors na ating i-observe para malaman natin ang kanilang pagkakaiba. Na andyan ang net force ang magnitude or the value of forces, direction, and the object's position. In balance force, the value of net force is always zero. Samantalang sa unbalanced force, nagpapakita ito ng greater amount of force than zero. In terms of magnitude, the value of forces in balance force are equal. Samantalang sa unbalanced force, it is not equal. In terms of direction, balance force came to opposite or from opposite direction. Samantalang sa unbalanced force, ito ay pwedeng magmula sa parehong direksyon o sa magkaiba. Pagdating naman sa object's position, Palaging ang balance force ay at rest o ito ay nakatigil dahil tulad nga ng sinabi natin, equal ang forces na nagmumula sa magkaibang direksyon samantalang sa unbalanced force, the objects move in the direction with greater force. Ibig sabihin, masusunod yung direksyon kung saan mas malaki yung value ng force na inexert ng ibang object. Now, let us try to assess if you understand the concept of balance and unbalanced force. Tell if the illustration shows balance force by yelling B, and if it shows an unbalanced force, you are going to yell U. Let us try to answer item number one. I will give you five seconds to answer the said item. Time's up. The answer is... Very good. It shows a balance force. Let us proceed on item number two. Again, I will give you five seconds to answer the said item. Time's up. This illustration shows very good and unbalanced force. Now, let us try to answer illustration number three. Up. 
This illustration shows very good an unbalanced force. Now, try to answer item number four. Alright, item number four shows an unbalanced force. Now, let us proceed on the last item. This item shows balance force. Good job! Now that you have finished your assessment, let us proceed on the next part of this session. Sana ay may nakuha ka sa video lecture na ito tungkol sa balance and unbalanced forces. Again, I am Sir Garrett and let us explore the majestic and interesting world of 